The story opens with two police officers named Cliff and Ronnie. They receive a report that one of the residents has lost a chicken. They suspect a man living on the edge of the forest named Hermit Bob as the culprit. Cliff and Ronnie try to meet Bob, who is already hidden somewhere. They warn Bob not to steal the community's livestock. Cliff and Ronnie then leave, knowing that even though Bob might seem disorganized, he's not someone who does bad things to others. On the way, Cliff and Ronnie realize something strange is happening. It's already 8 p.m., but it's not getting dark. Ronnie's watch and phone are also mysteriously dead. Even Bob experiences the same, where a colony of ants seems to panic as if the world is about to end. In the small town of Centerville, in the cafe, people are listening to a news report on the radio about a phenomenon affecting the Earth's rotation on its axis, causing slight imbalances, including changes in the daytime hours. That's why it's 8 p.m. but still bright outside. Meanwhile, at the juvenile detention center, the teens are discussing the possible impacts of this phenomenon. It could be natural disasters, or at worst, the end of life on Earth. Moving on to a man who loves cats and owns a motel, he becomes anxious after watching the news on TV about a woman who was suddenly attacked by her own cat. And the cat looked different. Meanwhile, a farmer, Miller, is puzzled because his dog ran into the forest. The same goes for his cows and chickens, which disappeared somewhere. It turns out that these animals are evacuating into the forest for reasons that are hard to understand. At the police station, there's Mindy, another police officer, and a corpse of a woman that has to stay overnight at the police station. Meanwhile, Cliff had to stand guard alone, switching to the cafe, the owner, is chatting with a woman. They are talking about a new woman, the funeral home attendant, who is quite strange. And this woman likes to use her katana. Her name is Zelda. One day, a corpse under Zelda's care started moving on its own, which was obviously strange. Finally, the dark night arrived, accompanied by an unusual moon that Hermit Bob called the Toxic Moon. At that moment, some corpses began to rise from their graves and headed towards the cafe. Just as the owner and the woman were about to close the cafe, they were attacked by the undead, also known as zombies. Before the zombies left, they managed to buy something from the cafe. The next morning, Cliff and his colleagues went to the cafe after getting a report from a man. They saw the bodies of cafe owner and a woman. Cliff and the others were shocked and puzzled, unable to figure out who the culprit was. Mindy, overwhelmed, even vomited at the sight of the cafe owner and the woman's bodies. Ronnie concluded that this must be the work of zombies. The scene shifts to Zoe, a friendly, cheerful girl. She and her friends, while on vacation, had to stop for gas in the small town of Centerville. From Bobby Wiggins' store, Zoe and her friends got a recommendation for a simple but happy motel to stay in Centerville. Then, Zelda went to the police station to ask if the bodies of the cafe owner and the woman needed to be brought to the funeral home. But it turned out that their bodies had already been taken by the FBI. At that time, Zelda saw a corpse at the police station move, but she didn't tell anyone because she wasn't sure if it was really a corpse or not. Back to Cliff and Ronnie, who were at the motel, Coincidentally, Zoe and her friends are also there. Ronnie warned them not to go out at night because it was very dangerous now. However, they just laughed and didn't take the warning seriously. Cliff and Ronnie then patrolled the cemetery, where they found two open graves. Seeing that, they were convinced that some corpses had risen from their graves. Cliff and Ronnie agreed to inform the residents to be cautious of zombie attacks at night. The best way to kill zombies is to attack their heads. The previous man... Hank and Bobby Wiggins armed themselves with guns, just in case there were uninvited guests, aka zombies, who were too dangerous. Night fell, accompanied by the sight of the toxic moon signaling the rise of the dead into zombies. Unfortunately, the motel owner who had been told to stay inside went out to look for his cat. Without realizing it, a group of zombies began approaching the man and quickly devoured his whole body. Elsewhere, Cliff and his partner were ready for any zombies that might come, but instead the corpse of a woman at the police station came back to life. However, Ronnie calmly decapitated the zombie woman. Meanwhile, Zelda was putting makeup on the corpses she was taking care of, but suddenly those corpses came to life. Without hesitation and with great confidence, Zelda decapitated them. Other zombies began spreading throughout the town and we discovered that these zombies were doing the things they enjoyed during their lives, 
like drinking coffee, playing games, buying toys. Cliff and his colleagues were confused, seeing the zombies spreading and rampaging all over the town. A little later, Zelda arrived calmly and asked what the police's next plan was. Cliff and his colleagues decided to patrol, hoping to help any residents who might need assistance. Meanwhile, Zelda stayed at the police station to monitor and report everything that was happening. As they patrolled, Cliff and his colleagues encountered various zombies engaging in their favorite activities until they arrived at the motel. When Ronnie checked, he saw that Zoe and her friends had died in terrible conditions. Without much thought, Ronnie decapitated them all to prevent them from becoming zombies. Meanwhile, in a strange turn of events, Zelda activated a computer with a touch of her hand and quickly wrote some sort of script. Elsewhere, Bobby Wiggins and Hank worked hard to build a fortification to keep the zombies out. However, they forgot to secure the back door, and their defenses were breached, leading to their demise. Meanwhile, the teenagers in the juvenile detention center chose to escape after realizing that zombies were nearby. Farmer Miller, who was alone, also met his end when his house was attacked by zombies. In another scene, Cliff and his colleagues couldn't go anywhere after their car's tire got stuck on a zombie's hand. Here, the zombie of Mindy's grandmother appeared, continuously calling out her name. Mindy, unable to handle the stress, left the car and was confirmed dead, joining other town residents who had turned into zombies. Meanwhile, Zelda drove towards the cemetery, which had become a zombie hotspot. Cliff and Ronnie were shocked when the zombies suddenly moved away. The most surprising moment came when a large UFO arrived to pick up Zelda. It was then revealed that Zelda was an alien. Cliff and Ronnie were left stunned by this revelation. In the end, Cliff and Ronnie did their best to fight the zombies, but they realized there would be no happy ending for them. They were overwhelmed and killed, and the film ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing, you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.